This is a short story about the surprising Filipino origin of erythromycin, the Ilongo antibiotic. Erythromycin is one of the world's most prescribed antibiotics. It is a wide-spectrum macrolide used in the treatment of bacterial infections of the respiratory tract, skin, soft tissues, and sexually transmitted diseases. It can be administered as a tablet, capsule, oral suspension, gel, or injection. As an ophthalmic ointment, erythromycin is used to treat eye infections in newborn babies. When it was first introduced in 1952, it was crucial for saving the lives of patients allergic to penicillin. This drug is so important, it is included in the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. Yet few people know the surprising Filipino roots of this life-saving medicine. Our story starts with Dr. Abelardo Aguilar, a doctor from Iloilo who at that time was working for the giant pharmaceutical Eli Lilly and Company. Dr. Aguilar was a researcher and was fond of collecting sample specimens from all sorts of weird and unusual places. Surely, one of the weirdest and most unusual of these places was the centuries-old Molo Cemetery in Iloilo City. It was here in 1949 where he collected a soil sample with some sort of slime growing in it. Later, when all his specimens were tested, it turned out that of all the samples collected, it was in that scoop of slime from the Molo Cemetery where a new species of bacteria was found. This specimen showed remarkable antibacterial properties. The compound containing the bacteria-fighting ability was isolated and studied. This drug born from the Molo Cemetery was named erythromycin and promised great potential as a life-saving antibiotic. Thus, the supreme irony that medicine to save human lives had its origins in a place reserved for the dead. After a few years of development for industrial-scale production, Eli Lilly finally introduced erythromycin to the public in 1952. In recognition of its Ilongo roots, the drug was first marketed under the brand names Ilozone and Iloticin. Today, it is sold under a myriad of brands. Eli Lilly made millions from the drug and erythromycin became one of the pillars that built the company into the big pharma giant that it is today. Dr. Abelardo Aguilar, on the other hand, was never given any royalties for his discovery. He later petitioned Eli Lilly for compensation, planning to use any proceeds to set up a clinic in Iloilo for indigent patients. He never got anything. Eli Lilly argued that Dr. Aguilar was fairly paid as an employee and no further compensation was required. Despite this rejection, Dr. Aguilar, true to his vision, went on to open that clinic in Iloilo and indeed offered free services for poor patients. I hope you enjoyed this short story about erythromycin, Dr. Abelardo Aguilar, and the amazing idea that in the wide range of our planet's biodiversity, we never know from where the next life-saving medical breakthrough will come from. It could arise from the waters of our coral reefs or plucked from the treetops of our tropical forests. Or, as Dr. Abelardo Aguilar showed us, it could even be found growing in the mud of an Iloilo cemetery. Salamat po.